Deputies, for today's patrol, we are continuing our look at Black Jesus's Retro Blaine County Sheriff Office pack. And this pack is truly unique. It combines modern vehicles with these old retro light bars. So today's vehicle is the 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. We'll do a spin around of the car so you can check it out. The light bar of the car is what truly makes it cool. This is what it looks like all lit up. These rotary lights are a little smaller than yesterday's charger. They still look really cool. They've got LEDs up there as well. And there are takedowns in the middle if you want to activate them. Let's take a look at the interior of this car. Pretty good looking interior as well. Hands don't line up, but not a big deal. I don't play first person too much, so that doesn't bother me quite as much as it might bother some of you guys. Also like these side flush mounted LEDs on the rocker panel. Today we're starting off in Sandy Shores. We'll take call outs, perform traffic stops, and see what we find today. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041, 108. We got somebody fishing over here off Alamo Sea. We're going to make contact with them. Right now, uh, on this side of the coast, fishing is forbidden. So we'll talk to the fisherman, just see if he was aware of that. And probably just let him off with a warning and tell him to, to stop fishing. You know what, I won't even bother checking his ID or anything. I'm just gonna let him know what the uh, regulation is. And uh, just so he's aware, because most people probably don't know it's a recent change. How you doing today, sir? My name's Deputy Carson with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I just wanna let you know that uh, the city or town of Sandy Shores has forbidden fishing on this side of the Alamo Sea. They're just uh, some concerns. So right now it is forbidden. I'm just gonna ask you to leave the area and stop fishing. Bye bye. All right, thank you, sir, for your cooperation. You have a lovely day. And he decided to just leave his fishing pole here. I guess he was that frustrated. Just a simple little uh, stop just to let him know what was going on. And we will be back 10-8. Dispatch, copy that. We're going to be 1076. Charlie 4, roger that. We'll look for those maggots. Roger. Sounds like uh, there's a burglary in progress in Stab City. We're going to go ahead and respond code 2. Looks like Adam 35 is going to be on scene already. We're going to be providing some assistance. Um, we will probably go in the house and try to apprehend anyone that might be in there. Once I get on scene, I'm just going to take a look at my police computer to see what further details we might need to know about this incident. We've been told not to activate sirens when we're in close proximity to the call location because it would notify anybody still in the house that we are about to pull up on scene and might give them some upper hand advantage if they try to attack us. Right here, Stab City. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my lights actually. While I pull in, looks like it's gonna be one of these units towards the back of the area. Oh my gosh, turn off that siren, please. 
um, called details. So we've got a female reporting party that she came home and she found her front door open and heard someone moving around inside. Front door is damaged and appears to have been kicked in. She's on scene awaiting for police to arrive. Um, we're coming, we're responding, and Adam 35 is already there. Put the siren off. Oh my gosh, can you make any more noise? Thank you. All right, let's go ahead, um, meet up with these guys, and we'll see what's going on. I think our female's right over here. Yeah, let's talk to her. How you doing, ma'am? I'm Deputy Carson, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Um, so tell me what's going on. Came home a few minutes ago, went to unlock the door, found it was already open. Didn't know what happened at first. I peeked through the fort door and I heard someone moving around inside. I was so scared. I just ran out here and called 911. Live alone, officer. I think someone has broken in. Please, I need you to go inside for me. I'm so scared right now. All right. All right, guys, um, let's go ahead to the door and uh, we'll go ahead and see what's going on. I'm gonna pull out my shotgun actually from the back of my vehicle. I'm gonna use that uh, as a close quarters weapon. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, you ready? We're gonna go ahead and make entry. All right, Boyne County Sheriff's Office. If you're in the house, get on the ground. I'm here moving inside the bedroom. Get on the ground. All right, nobody in the bedroom. They're actually in the bathroom. We've got one male in custody. Let's just clear the rest of the house. Lots of beer around here. All right, looks like it's cleared. We've got one male in custody. Uh, he's saying, hey, you got it all wrong. This is my buddy's place. Well, we know that is not true because um, the female was the one who called it in. Okay, sir, do you have some ID? Actually, can you just tell me your name? All right, he's saying his name is Bill Kenny for 1976. We're gonna get, get a uh, 27 on that. Coming back, suspended license, otherwise fairly clean. What are these guys doing? All right, let's go ahead and place them in the car. Actually, I wanna search him real quick. I don't think the other guys did. Make sure he doesn't have anything else on him. All right, this is not NASCAR here. These guys are just Idiot. doing laps around here. Place them in the car. We'll get a unit out here to come pick them up. All right, ma'am, uh, we went ahead. We did find one male in there, so you were right. Thank you so much for calling police because I could have turned quite bad. Um, if you need anything else, don't feel, don't shit. hesitate to call us, okay? You don't know him? No, he's not coming back. He's gonna go ahead and be arrested, actually. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead, clear this scene. Attention all units, Hello. we are code four. No Dr. further Parker units required. All right, we'll be code four and back 10-8. So we've got an active 1080 here. We'll take secondary and assist this other deputy. Dispatch 1080 eastbound East Joshua Road. It's gonna be a red pickup truck. Speeds approximately 60 miles per hour. Traffic conditions are moderate. Vehicle occupied one time. Uh, no rear facing plate, so we're not. We can't get a uh, a plate number to check. 
Looks like the primary unit's trying to perform a, a pit maneuver to get them stopped. And uh, looks like we're headed towards the interstate here. Vehicles off the road, 1050 into multiple road signs. I'm just kind of keeping my distance here, letting the primary unit take control of the situation. I don't want to uh, cause more accidents. And we're heading into oncoming traffic, northbound Route 13. Oh my gosh. Incredibly dangerous. Oh, he's swerving. He is barely missing vehicles headed straight at him. Our police unit just 1050 would Let's try to catch up here. He's increased his speed probably up to 70 miles per hour still. Oncoming traffic. Just 1050 would into another vehicle still driving. Oh, head-on collision here. Suspect's out of the car. I repeat, suspect is out of the car and on foot, headed westbound Route 13. Going to be a white male in shorts. Try to get out of the car. Oh, I tried to do somewhat of a running oh, stop there. Didn't quite work out. And go ahead and pull out that taser. Oh, we're getting shots fired from one of the deputies. I don't think it's quite needed, but um, we're still pursuing him on foot southbound. We're, we're crossing Union Road now. He's running into uh, some heavy bushery or shrubbery. Is that a word? Wait, where'd he go? I lost him in the bush. There he is. Spotted him. He's still running. Um, appears to be southbound. All units, we've got an officer Calling some additional units. We'll see if they're able to, to help stop him. Man, this is a bad area. Oh, there he is. There's just so much uh, trees and stuff in the area. It's hard to see exactly where he's going. He's got a good uh, distance on me. Oh, is he? He's caught up on this thing. Blaine County Sheriff's Office freeze. Taser missed. I repeat, Taser missed. Running uh, towards Grapeseed Avenue, it appears. Taser hit. I repeat, Taser hit. Boyne County Sheriff's Stop Office, don't, don't move. Get on the ground. Oh, he pulled out a gun. I repeat, he's got a gun. Piece of crap. One shot fired. Can I get a backup unit here? I've got suspect down at gunpoint. One shot has been fired. I repeat, one shot has been fired. I'm going to wait for a backup until I move in to check vitals. I don't want him to pop up and try to fire a few shots back at me. That was a crazy foot pursuit. I actually thought I had lost them a few times there in all the bushes. All right, I think backup's on scene. Let's go ahead and see if he's uh, responsive or not. All right, sus suspect appears to be down. Let's go ahead and call EMS to our location. Attention all units. Medical aid requested and great. That almost looks like it was through the heart. That one shot. He tried to run. I had the taser out. He pulled the gun out. I returned fire for my own safety. It just had to be done. The EMS is coming here. Let's go ahead, uh, we'll go into our medic check animation and we'll see uh, what exactly is going on. We just know he's not responsive. We were able to call the ambulance in fairly quickly, so he might have a good chance of bouncing back from this. I don't know. Um, he hit several cars in that uh, vehicle pursuit as well, so 
he was very motivated to get away from police at any cost, no matter who he put in danger. Okay. Uh, and I see the ambulance coming right down Grapeseed Avenue. We'll see if they're able to assist here. All right, I'll move out of the way. Let the professionals do their thing. Yep, they see where he's at. Oh, hell, not looking good. Yep, it is not looking good. He's lost a lot of blood. You can see it there just all over this, um, whatever this is called, this channel. Compressions are being performed. We'll see if he makes it or not. All right, EMS is going to go ahead and uh, confirm that he is dead. So depending on where you live, I know in South Carolina, some counties, paramedics can actually declare people dead. But in other places, they have to get the coroner out there to sign the death certificate. So we'll go ahead and get that coroner out to our location since we uh, confirmed they are dead and not going to be able to be revived. Right down here. Yep, just pull on, pull all over. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, they're taking pictures from the car. I don't think I've ever seen them do that before. As long as they take the body, I, don't, I really don't care. Love this stretcher, man. So much more legit than the trash bags. All right, guys, I appreciate it. That is going to conclude the patrol for today. As always, I love to hear your guys' feedback. If you have any, just let me know down in a comment. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next patrol.